Hey there campers, this is STEM Experience with Emily and it's time to learn some science. Agriculture or farming was crucial to the success of Mayan civilization. Because they live in the jungle, farming was very difficult. The area they lived was also prone to frequent drought or long periods of time with no water. When it did rain, the limestone under the ground would soak up all the water instead. So the Mayans had to get creative. To survive, they invented an underground storage system to collect rainwater for the times when it was scarce. It's a good thing they did because the only other water source near the Mayans were swamps, which are not drinkable, yuck. There were no open fields of soil for farming, so the Mayans had to physically clear all areas of the jungle for planting their crops, which was no easy task. To do this, they used the slash and burn technique, burning away unnecessary vegetation and fertilizing the ground with ashes. They dug deep canals on each side of their farmland to drain excess water and minimize the amount of space they needed to grow healthy crops. It's called raised bed farming. Most interesting of all, the Mayans also took after the Aztecs in creating floating gardens, also known as chinampos. The Mayans wove reeds together to build rafts anchored at the bottom of the water or to a strong tree in the marsh. They piled vegetation and reeds on top of the raft to help provide good soil and drainage. And on top of them, they would grow plants. Pretty cool, huh? Well, today we're going to be building our very own floating gardens. But first, let's go over our materials. Six corks, dirt, glove, glue, and a paintbrush, your plant, and a container of water for your floating garden to float. To start this experiment, put your gloves on and set up your six corks like I did. Next, take your glue and your paintbrush, and you're going to glue them together like so. When it's done, your six corks should be glued together and look like this. Next, take your dirt, and you're going to sprinkle some on top of your floating raft. Now take your plant and plant it on top of your dirt. I'm going in with some more dirt to fill in the edges and make sure it gets nice and buried good. Now I'm taking my bowl of water and as you can see, I have a floating garden. Thanks for watching STEM Experiments with Emily and I'll see you next time.